People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down. When you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange. When you're strange, when you're strange People are strange, when you're a stranger Faces look ugly, when you're alone Women seem wicked, when you're unwanted Streets are uneven, when you're down When you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange, I like Ah, oh, the presidential race seems to be coming right along. Looks like Otis Spunkmeyer the dog is in the lead. Whose motorcycle is this? It's Zed, baby. Who is Zed? Zed's Zed, baby. Zed's Zed. Okay, they're rounding the bend here. Looks like, looks like Condoleezza. Looks like Condoleezza Rice's face is falling off. Here comes Dick Cheney. Oh, oh, and Otis Spunkmeyer stopped to scratch his head. <laughs> it's mass chaos here at the presidential race. Dick Cheney's wings are flapping in the wind. What a marvelous man, that Dick Cheney. Oh, Condoleezza Rice taking the lead. Good evening. I'm Merlin Perkins, and welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Tonight, we are on the trail of a beautiful female lion. She is on her own and stalking her prey, which is unusual for this creature, but given the recent drought, she's on the lookout for food. If we're lucky, tonight might be the night we finally see her catch some prey. Now the whole crew has been waiting for this because she is one of the most starving ones and she has cubs to feed. She strikes with great ferocity. She's a marvelous beast. She'll take this kill home for her family to feed her cubs. And just as she might protect her cubs, Mutual of Omaha's insurance can protect you and yours. All right, I am here at the finish line of the presidential race. As you can see, our, uh, our contestants are uh, approaching. Otis Funkmeyer's still in the lead. Oh, it looks like he might win. Oh wait, Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney coming up in the lead, but Otis Bunkmeyer makes it in. Well, there you have it, folks. The presidential race has been won. So, Mr. Spunkmeyer, how do you feel now that you've won the presidential race? Huh? Miss Rice, how do you feel about your loss in the presidential race? <laughs> Mr. Dick Cheney, you've lost the presidential race. How do you feel?
Our top story tonight, Plague, Intrigue, and MySpace. Here's Chip Chipper with the story. Thank you, Vicki. This is a very touchy su subject. There have been reports of emo pants taking over the souls of teens everywhere. We've talked to some real people about this phenomenon and what they think about MySpace and emo pants. I like MySpace. Like, I think it's the coolest thing ever. Like, you can, like, talk to, like, all of your friends, like, all 60,000 of them. And, like, I don't know. It's just awesome. And, like, I don't really know anything about the emo pants thing because I don't think it comes out of Holster or Abercrombie and Fitch, so I don't think I'd have heard of them. But, like, I like puppies. Yep. My life is a dark abyss, what? full of nothingness in my space. You my life is a dark abyss, full of nothingness in my space. Personally, oh, I love my space, no, yes. but I hate all you douchebags. Back to you, Vicky. Thank you, Chip. A strange story tonight. Dog bites man, excuse me, man bites dog in a rare show of interspecies dominance. The man was sitting on his porch when a German shepherd walked by. The man leapt from his seat and bit the dog on his hind legs. The man claimed that he was giving him sass. He is currently in jail awaiting trial. Our final story tonight. Thorax Corporations has reported missing a large amount of low-grade beaver tranquilizer. They have a few suspects, but there are no leads. As of yet. <laughs> well, that's the news. Have a good night, folks. And now, here's the weatherman with the weather. Hello, I am the weatherman with the weather. This week's forecast, there will be rain, lots, and lots of rain, in rain instead of Spain. Um, California, besides the fact that, you know, there's probably earthquakes coming, I mean, hopefully it'll fall off soon, because, you know, California's not that great. Sun. Alabama. Partly cloudy. The Dakotas expect sleet, rain and sleet, but the postman will still come. <clears throat> Arizona, flash floods will, will cover the land, right there, in Arizona. Illinois, 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 <laughs> there will in fact be showers. Light showers. Showers like spring showers. Even though you know it's like December. <clears throat> Potato state. Potato state. Do you know what's gonna happen in the potato state? You just have to wait and see for yourself. What that means. <laughs> and Alaska. Get hold of Alaska. Snow. How surprising. You're so boring, Alaska. That's the week's forecast. Thank you for joining me with the weather. I'll be here. For always and forever. Thank you, weatherman.